Today we're going to look closer at a tent called Hilleberg Anjan. That's one of the light model that Hilleberg produce. This will be a review where I show what I like with it and I show what I little bit not liking with it. And I think that in the end of this video you will know if it's a tent for you or if it's not a tent for you. My name is Matti and I'm working as a dog musher and a wilderness guy up in northern Sweden, just outside Jokmok, north of Arctic Circle. I run a small tourist business together with my girlfriend Stina and we do these reviews and video content also. So follow the channel and you will get more of this kind of videos. If you want to know how I do when I pitch a tunnel tent, I put a small link up in one of the corners, click on that and you will get some advice how you pitch a tunnel tent. Now let's do the work. It comes with three bows. One of the bows are a little bit longer. That one have a red tag here. The one with the red tag should be on the place where you have a red tag here. I always say that you should be super careful when you are mounting this. They must be closed. All of them should be closed. If they're not closed and you're bending them when they are like that, you can crack them. Closed bows, closed. All of them should be closed. And as you see what I'm doing now, walking around with this ones on the ground, don't do that. It's so easy that you suddenly step on one of them and break it. So don't do like this, that you put all out and just throw them on the ground. Listen to what I say and not do what I do. This bag with all the pegs, put it in the pocket and you know where it is. You put the pole into the bottom and open it like this. And the poles glide very easy into the channels. So you see it's no problem to put it up. Each pole have a small cup here, you see? Put it in there, put it into the bottom, push it through and attach it. And then you tighten the rope here. Now I see that I should put this tent in that direction. You can lift and walking around with a tent like this, if, especially if you take all three bows like this, then you can't just, you can always destroy it, but then it's quite okay. The pegs. Now I know I need a few of them, so I take out a few of them, put the bag on the other bag. It's not blowing the wind here, so that's no problem. In the end here, there is a metal ring. This peg should go into the metal ring. These metal rings are super good, because if you are in heavy wind and it's only this fabric, they can be they can cut. But with the metal ring, it is stronger. Put it up like this, pegs to the ground. So this door is made with one zipper like this. And it's very simple, just one zipper. If you compare this with uh, not much, you have a big door like this that you can open. And when you want lightweight stuff, you will not get everything, of course. Then you have to take away things. You can attach the door like that. And the zipper is covered with, uh, uh, with this fabric, a little bit more sturdy fabric, so it's not raining in. All zippers are very durable, and I think they are YKK zippers. Or, uh, it's written Hilleberg on them, but I think it's YKK, I'm not really sure. Yeah, YKK, and they are really strong. As I said before, this this whole extended uh, vestibule here that you got 
is only 300 gram extra. Otherwise the tent stops here, here. You lose this space. And I love to have this extra space when it's raining and you want to go inside here, take off rain clothes, you can put backpacks here or whatever life jacket if you're canoeing or whatever. So I like this extra space you get here. I also use this very much for cooking. And I know a lot of you guys said don't use a stove inside the tent. I do it and you, if you do that you should know that if something goes wrong, if they start burning the fabric, things can very very fast be very very dangerous. So this is the moment when I should say don't try this at home. But I use the stove inside here and I love to stay in my sleeping bag a rainy day and not stepping out of my sleeping day, sleeping bag until I had my cup of coffee or a cup of tea and breakfast. So very often I stay in my sleeping bag and have breakfast. This vestibule is not mosquito safe because of the ventilation. I will come back to the ventilation later because we have ventilation all around here. But we talk about ventilation and condensation later. The door to the inner tent here is also made very simple. But it is two zippers and you can have it in many different ways like this and you can really open up. If you see here, the whole door is a mosquito net and on other tents, on the other labels, you have double fabric here so you can actually close up everything. With this tent you can't close ventilation for the inner tent, you will always have mosquito net. I prefer to have a lot of ventilation like this uh, but you know, if you have seen other videos with me, I, I, I always want to, to keep it as open as possible. What I usually say is that the tent don't keep you warm. The tent protects you from rain and it protects you from wind. The sleeping bag keeps you warm. So that's why I really love to have a lot of ventilation. Also this door have one of these luster strips, strips things that you can put away the whole door like that. Very good. The floor here it's waterproof and as you can see like all Hilleberg tent it's like a tub all around. It, it sides here five ten centimeter up ten maybe more. It is no problem to get water here. So if you're camping on the spot and it starts raining during the night and it's coming water under the tent it is no panic. You can put this on super wet ground without big problem. Of course, we always avoid to do that. This floor is also very strong. I never use this extra ground sheet that you, you normally use on other tents like I have on Big Agnes. Then I always put an extra ground sheet under the tent to protect the floor because it's so thin. So this is a lightweight tent, but it's not the real, real, real lightweight tent. If you compare this tent to, for example, Big Agnes, you have uh, less strong floor on Big Agnes and you need this ground sheet. But with this one, you don't need it. If you want to know more, as I said before, about exactly how many millimeter water, blah, 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 the fabric can stand, you must go into Hilleberg website and, and check that. That's not what I'm going to talk about because um, I'm not so interested in that. I'm more interested in the function when I use it. And that's what I try to tell you about. So this tent have a landing roof in the foot part of this tent. I will show you. So now I step with my head here, all the way here, 172 centimeters. Then you should also remember that I would have a hoodie on my sleeping bag here. Now we check my feet and you see they are touching the roof here. If you add a two centimeter isomat under me, it comes up two centimeter. But most of us today have minimum five, six, some have up to nine centimeter down mats under. If you add a nine centimeter down mat on top of here, your toes will come up here. This is a problem with this tent for tall person. Of course you can, if you use this as a solo tent, you can lay from corner to corner and that makes sense, that, that uh, make it a little bit bigger. But when they say that this tent is 
220 or whatever, you should remember that this landing roof actually steals a lot of space. And the problem, if you put your toes against this, is that you usually get moisture sleeping bag in the foot part. And uh, you never, you don't want a wet sleeping bag or moisture sleeping bag. So that is a problem. You have a vent tile here also in the foot part. It's really good. And <sighs> Hilleberg, or all of you who produce tents, I'm a good size for your customer because I fit into most of your tent. But a lot of my customers, they are up to two meters and more than two meters. They will have to sleep with the head outside the tent almost, or curling up like a dog in the tent. Why not making, uh, especially the solo tents, like uh, uh, the XL for bigger people, for taller people. I think a lot of you out there would love a tent for a taller person. Mm. I'm not a tall one and already I have some small problem with this. And Hilleberg also have pockets here. They only have two small pockets, one on each side. And if you look at other tents, I now I compare with Big Agnes, you have pockets in roof. And of course, I know this roof is not made for hanging pockets in. But it would be possible maybe to put the pocket or more pockets along the side here. Or will it be to, I don't know. But I a little bit miss uh, pockets because I love to put my telephone away, my, yeah, small things. So I miss pockets. And now my favorite part of all tent reviews, ventilation, condensation. As you see, this don't have an inbuilt vent tile here as Namach and Nalo has. Two different kind of vent on these two tents. This one have an inbuilt ventilation under the flyer all around the tent. So you get the wind in here. This hole goes around the whole tent. So it's supposed to blow in air from all sides and you will get the circulation like that. What you can't do with this, you can't close the ventilation. This is the only ventilation the whole tent has all around. It's no ventiles, you can open, you can't close it. This is how it is. The good thing with this ventilation is that you just get a small wind from any direction of the tent and you will have circulation inside the tent and almost no condensation. The bad thing with this kind of ventilation is you can't close it. If you are high up in the mountains, if you have to camp on, in areas where you are really wind exposed, this is not really, really good. Uh, this is a tent for protected area. Actually, as Hilleberg says, this is not the high alpine tent. I wouldn't use it for high alpine camping anyway. So the thing with condensation is that warm air carry more moisture. Warm air attached, come towards the fabric and the temperature drop on outside. When this warm air come close to the fabric, temperature drop and had to drop water somewhere. That is the condensation it put condensation on the fabric because the fabric is cold. If you have the same temperature inside and outside, then you don't get that. And if you have airflow through the tent, then it brings out the, uh, the moisture air from your breathing, you know. I want a tent with a lot of circulation, but it's also good if it really can close up when you need it. Because if you have heavy wind, strong wind, you don't need open all around. Uh, if you have very, very little wind, it's good to have it like this. A lot of the dome tents from Hilleberg have a vent tile on the top of the tent. And warm air is going up. And then it's easy to get, get that air out, of course. This tent, when you have the vent tile in the bottom, the warm air had to cool off and then falling down. And when it's cooling off, it dropped condensation. So 
you will get condensation on this tent also when the temperature drop and when you have moisture air or moisture ground but with this ventilation i actually think that this is quite good ventilation on this tent it's absolutely not more condensation in this and than namach or nalo so i'm quite happy with the ventilation here so the downside with this kind of ventilation is that if you have a heavy rainstorm and you are up in the mountain or you are exposed to the wind when the rain coming this way you know then it will come and hit here but the fabric on the inner tent goes up here also so it's not directly you get water into the tent but um, heavy storm heavy cold wind with rain will push a little bit into this so this is a tent for protected areas so i would say that this tent is made for people who are searching for a lightweight tent this tent is made for people who are not on regular basis camping on high altitude and very wind exposed areas where you have raining rainstorms i use this tent also up in the scandinavian mountains and i camping in wind exposed areas with it but I also always try to be flexible to go down to lower areas if I see it comes in bad weather. I wouldn't take this tent if I see the weather forecast is really really bad with heavy winds and I know that I have to camp high up then I would choose another tent. And if I'm going out and I know it's just going to be raining I would take a tent with the GT version because I really love the extended vestibule you have in this one. It is tiny for two person. You should know that all tents, if it's written two person, it is tiny. That's not only Hilleberg. So if you know that you are two person and you know that you could carry a little bit more, maybe the three person tent would be better. But if you don't like to carry, if you're really aiming for lightweight tent, go for two person. So I think that was all from me today. I don't need to tell you what to do with subscription and everything like that, but I hope I see you next video. Ciao.